Hello and welcome to this film which is all about the decomposition reactions practical. Now for this practical you are going to need a test tube rack, some copper carbonate, a balance, so an electronic balance, a spatula for you to get your solid out of the jar, a test tube, so that's the skinny tube, a boiling tube, it's the fatter tube, a Bunsen burner, some lime water or calcium hydroxide solution, a clamp stand, a heat mat, a Boston clamp and a delivery tube to get you between two glass tubes. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get about two spatulas full of copper carbonate into your boiling tube. Now I've already done that just to save a little bit of time. The next thing you want to do is to weigh this boiling tube with the copper carbonate in it. So we're going to put the test tube rack on the balance, we're going to hit zero and we're going to record how much our boiling tube weighs. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to clamp this boiling tube because we're going to heat it quite strongly and we don't want to burn our fingers while we're doing that. So we're going to put it in a clamp, do the clamp up, not too tight. Now notice the way I've clamped it, okay? I've clamped it near the mouth of the tube because I want to heat the bottom of the tube. And the closer I clamp to the bottom of the tube, the more chance there is of me of heating the clamp up. And I don't want to do that. Okay, so I've clamped it near the mouth of the tube. The next thing to do is to insert a delivery tube, which is going to hopefully track, uh, basically direct any gases from this reaction to my test tube. And my test tube needs to have some lime water in it. So take some lime water and put a little bit of lime water in your test tube. Now you don't need a great deal. I've got about a third full there. But again, you need to weigh this tube. So again, put it in your test tube rack. See how much that tube weighs with the lime water and record that mass. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to put this delivery tube into the lime water so that any gases produced from this reaction have to pass through the lime water. And we're going to heat this tube quite strongly, but not too strongly. So we're going to use a medium flame on our Bunsen. So that is the air hole half open or thereabouts. We don't need the test tube back on the balance anymore. We can just rest it in there. We're going to half open the air hole of our Bunsen and we're going to direct that flame towards the solid in the tube. So we don't have to have the Bunsen on the bench, we can just point the flame at the solid. Now you'll soon see the solid starting to turn black and gases will start coming down here. Now some of those gases will be produced by the reaction. Some of the gases will just be, well they're not really new gases, it's just that the heat from this Bunsen will cause the gases inside this tube to expand. And when they expand, they'll try and escape from the tube and they'll go through our lime water. Now it's very, very important that we don't allow the gases in this tube to contract while this tube is still in the lime water. So one person should be concentrating on heating this tube quite steadily until all the solid is black. And then you can stop heating. But before you stop heating, remove this tube from the lime water. And what that will do is it will prevent these gases contracting and sucking this cold liquid back up into this hot tube and possibly causing that glass to shatter and possibly cause an accident. Okay? Now, we let everything cool down, we take everything apart, and the last thing for us to do before we pack up is just to make sure that we weigh the two tubes again. So once again, we put our test tube rack on the balance, we weigh the test tube, record that mass, so we now know what the lime water weighed before and after, and we weigh the solid as well, so that we know what it weighed before and after. We enter those values into our table, and we've got pretty much all the results we need. Now hopefully that all makes sense. Make sure you write yourself a nice clear method before you start, and if anything doesn't make sense, please make sure you ask your teacher while you're doing that.